If you love animals and plants, you're in the right place. Ever wondered how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly? Let's find out together. From hot deserts to chilly Arctic lands, animals have special homes called habitats. Camels live in deserts, parrots squawk in rainforests, dolphins splash in oceans, and polar bears roam the icy Arctic. These animals use amazing tricks called adaptations to survive. All living things grow and change. That's a life cycle. Butterflies start as eggs, become caterpillars, then chrysalises, and finally burst out as beautiful butterflies. Frogs begin as eggs, turn into wiggly tadpoles, then hop onto land as frogs. Plants grow from tiny seeds, sprouting leaves and flowers with sunlight, water, and soil. Quick quiz. Can you match the animal to its habitat? What's the first stage of a butterfly's life? Name three things a plant needs to grow. Awesome work, scientists. See you next time on Miracle 4 Kids. Hi, friends. Today I'm going on an exciting adventure to explore different animal habitats and how animals survive in them. Ready? Let's go. The desert is hot and dry with little water. Camels live here. They have thick eyelashes, wide feet, and store fat in their humps to survive in the heat. Rainforests are warm and wet with tall trees and lots of rain. Parrots fly through the trees. Frogs stick to leaves. Monkeys swing from vines. These animals are great climbers and use color to hide. The ocean is deep and full of life. Dolphins, fish, and sea turtles live underwater. They have fins to swim and gills or lungs to help them breathe. Brr, the Arctic is freezing cold and snowy. Polar bears and seals live here. They stay warm with thick fur or blubber and walk easily on ice. Each animal has special body parts or behaviors that help it live in its home. That's called an adaptation. Isn't that cool? Can you match the animal to its habitat? Where does the camel live? How about the dolphin? Let's see how many you get right. Great job, explorers. You learned about the desert, rainforest, ocean, and Arctic, and the amazing animals who call them home. See you next time for more fun science adventures.